You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing Money in the Bank pay-per-view predictions. Yeah, so um, hopefully this show is better than the last few weeks of Raw and SmackDown have been. I mean, it'll just generally be wrestling, so they can't screw up too much. Oh, no, well, they'll, they'll have plenty of uh, stupid backstage segments, I'm sure. Eh, I don't know. They, they, they've they done it before. Uh, yeah, I don't know how many they're going to have. Yeah, I guess. Um, it, it's a, or I believe a regular length pay-per-view, not a long one. So eight hours instead of 12? Yes. Good. Well, no, because they announced, it says it's starting at seven. Um, so that means it's going to be a normal pay-per-view, which is good. Um, and then, uh, yeah, 11 matches on here. Uh, I guess we'll get started with the pre-show. Um, we sure. got Daniel Bryan and Eric Rowan. Or Rowan. I, I don't know if they actually dropped the name. Yeah, or I'm not. pretty sure it's just Rowan yeah. at this point. Versus the Usos in a non title match. Yeah, because wild card rule. Yeah. So this match doesn't really need to exist. Um, but since it's not a title match, I think it's pretty obvious that Daniel Bryan and Rowan are going to win. Yeah, I would assume that. I mean, uh, unless they just have them. Well, these two faced each other for the vacant tag titles, right? Two weeks ago? They did? Yeah, didn't they face the Usos? I feel like that's not true. I'm pretty sure they did. But that... uh, It's possible. It doesn't make any sense because the Usos were on Raw. I realize that. I think that was the part of them bringing in the wild card rule or whatever maybe i don't know i, I, I honestly don't remember so no I, I i it would make sense i just don't remember um we you looking for the most recent entry yeah no i don't think they did anything yet yeah. should have been here either way um so yeah i still think daniel bryan and rowan are gonna gonna win mm-hmm. uh let's see so Tony Nese and Ario Davari are on here for not as a pre-show match, but they'll be a pre-show That'll match. That'll be a pre-show yeah. match, for sure. Yeah, Tony Nese probably retain. I don't really see. I don't think they've ever thought of Ario Davari as a champion. So. No, unfortunately yeah. not. Uh, and then we got, they'll probably, what do you think, bookend with? Yep, they face the Usos. Okay. Mm-hmm. May 7th. That right. was last week. Yeah, I don't remember these <laughs> things. Um, oh, so you boy. think they're going to bookend with Money in the Banks? Do the women's to open the show and the men's to end the show? That's it's probably a good good chance that yeah, happens. Women's, women's will probably open the show no matter what. Oh, see why not. Um, Natalia, Dana Brooke, Naomi, Alexa Bliss, Bailey, Mandy Rose, Ember Moon, and Carmella. Yeah. I, mean, um, I could see it going two ways. One doesn't make much sense but i had predicted that she would win it earlier in the year and that was mandy rose but she seems like they're doing the mandy sonia stuff the fire and desire tag teams yeah i mean she could always win it and have you know sonia be her she did say that she was going to do that um on smackdown yeah so that makes sense um but i think that alexa bliss is got a pretty good chance too. Well, of especially we if about. they play with the whole Nikki Cross character that they've introduced now, the the new and improved one we'll go with. Yeah. Um. Personally, I'd like to see Ember Moon win it. Yeah. Just because they've done nothing with her. Mm-hmm. Um. Bailey doesn't really need Money in the Bank to go for a title. No. Because she'll feel legitimate no matter what. Um. So I think that in terms of someone needing it to get to the next level ember would make the most sense because i feel like it'd be easy for them to just flip a switch with mandy because mm-hmm. just the way that they've been presenting her where ember yeah. moon well she kind of like has the skill but she doesn't really have the presence at least not on the main roster well it's hard when you don't get booked on the tv show that's true but well, she was <laughs> she was maybe she wasn't two weeks ago yeah three weeks ago yeah so when anyway eight woman tag that was probably it <laughs> no they I, she had a match last week i think did she i think was so it, was it a tag match against the iconics mm, no that was no 
know. It was Sonya and Mandy had yeah. a tag match. All right, maybe I'm delusional. I don't know. I don't know. No, they had the trip. They had because the, the women of Raw had the triple threat this week. I think last week the SmackDown women had it, hmm. not the triple threat, the uh, Fatal Four Way. I think so. I don't know. Either way, um, so I, I'm gonna go with um, Ember Moon. Okay. As my prediction. All right. It's bold, but I'm gonna go for it. And you said. You yeah, wanted... I'm gonna go with Mandy. Okay. I feel like she would be fine carrying the briefcase. I mean, I did like what we had talked about on our podcast with Alexa Bliss, mm -hmm. possibly picking it up and then utilizing Nikki Cross as kind of her bodyguard, so to speak. Yeah. Or her buffer. Yeah, because she could easily pick up the briefcase. And even if, I wouldn't mind if she cashed it in right away again because, you know, it kind of makes sense. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, you know, might as well have her hold it for a little while. So it's not the same thing. It's true. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, you're right. Last week, Mandy feel. and Sonya beat Carmel and Ember Moon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense now. And that's when Paige... And then the last time she wrestled was in that eight-woman tag. Okay. Yeah. Um, we'll go with Roman Reigns versus Elias in a regular singles match. I the mean... big dog is going over. Yeah... They haven't done anything with Elias. Why nope. would they do something now with him? It just He's just there. Yeah, it's true. He's just going to be probably Shane's lackey for the rest of his... I'll tell you what, though. This is hurting Roman. What, just to throw him in a random match? With Elias. Well, I mean, what else do you have him to do if you don't want him to be the champion? No, my, my point is Elias has too much of a fan base. Oh, oh, oh. Because oh. Roman's getting booed again. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because they're in uh, in England, but he's getting booed again, and I think it's got something to do with him being team uh, teamed up against Elias. Is yeah. it's not the Miz? And Elias is with Sheen, so that yeah, should automatically drop him. It should, but it didn't because well, the Miz entire cheered. there's no no denying yeah, that one. The entire time that Elias was out, they were doing the walk with Elias thing. Right, right, right. So maybe they just like the catchphrase. But I think there's more to that. If the fans are able to chant it, generally they will. I guess that's true. But I, I feel like there is there is something to what I'm talking about. But oh, Ro um, Ro Roman is going over. Um, no because, reason he shouldn't. Yeah, unless for some reason Shane gets involved. But Shane already has a match, so I don't see why they would do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Should we do that match next? Well, in theory, I would imagine that one of Becky's matches is going to be probably. early. Yeah. Um, I would say that one of them will probably be the second or third match, and then the, the second one will be the second to last match. That's true. If not, the they, buffer match. they technically could have Charlotte and Becky main event the pay-per-view. That wouldn't be unprecedented. No, but... Eh. I'm not Usually saying... the men's money in the bank will. Well, I'm, I'm not... Like I said, I'm not yeah, saying yeah. that it, it deserves the main event spot, mm. but... It wouldn't be beyond the realm of possibility. Right. Um, so, so we'll do Becky versus uh, Lacey? Lacey. Yeah. yeah. Um, I really, really hope that Becky doesn't drop the title to Lacey. So, it doesn't seem like it's time yet to no. do that. Mm -hmm. There's no reason to. And they like their Becky two belts catch race. They do, and that's the thing. You see merchandise constantly mm -hmm. promoted and things like that. So part of me is thinking she might hold on to both those titles. She definitely could. I don't think that either of these um, opponents are the right person to take a title from her. No. So no. So yeah, we're, we're both going to say Becky's going to retain over Lacey. All right. And for consistency, let's go to her boyfriend's match next. Okay. Yeah. Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles. Because apparently that was announced or something like that. It was. Like that. Yeah. WWE even acknowledged it. it. Yes. But they didn't say anything on Raw, which no, surprised well, me. Well, I, they did. Cause well, Ron, Seth was, Yeah, when yeah. Seth was talking to the uh, interviewer. Some like, sort of broke the internet today yeah. or whatever he said. Yeah. Um, so um, Seth's going to retain here. This yeah. is going to be the start of a long, oh, yeah. summer-long program with mm -hmm. AJ Styles. AJ is going to have his he's going to go full heel. heel turn. Yep. Um, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, that, that's fine. A AJ Styles in the WWE is a much better heel than he was face. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I was 
quite all right with the face champion AJ Styles. However, there was nothing inspiring about mm-hmm. it. Heal AJ Styles, given the proper tools, put them with the club. They're on if, Raw. On the yeah. Club. <laughs> so, and that is going to make things interesting, potentially. Yeah. Uh, because and, um, him him versus John Cena, that hashtag beat up John Cena stuff was fantastic. Brilliant. And it didn't take up too much time. It was just one little thing mm-hmm. that was memorable yeah. on Raw. That was it. And you don't have to worry about this turning into a club versus shield thing. No, because Dean is uh, officially gone. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Allegedly. Moxley's just going to show up. Yeah. But yeah, I, I was just changing my name, guys. Dean Ambrose, he's dead. Then you know, this technically speaking, that is a possibility. I wouldn't put it past them. Yeah. Um, let's the see. Roman's on SmackDown, so. Yeah. But with the wild card rule, it doesn't really matter anymore. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um. All right, we got the Miz versus Shane, like we talked about earlier. Yeah. Miz is winning. Here. He he has to. He lost at Mania. There's no reason he doesn't win now. Yeah. But they keep putting Shane McMahon on TV, so there's always that possibility. I guess. I don't know. Right. But, yeah, no, the it, Miz should win, yeah. hands down. Because sh- Shane is going to spend a lot of time trying to escape, probably have the B team come out and help him at some point. Um, but the Miz will eventually, I guess, probably pin him, Yeah, I would imagine. All right. I guess we'll talk about the U.S. championship match. Mm-hmm. Samoa Joe versus Rey Mysterio. Yeah, I, I hate to say it, but Samoa Joe's <laughs> going to retain the title. He's gonna, yeah. probably going to lead to like a handicap match between Rey Mysterio and Dominic versus Samoa Joe. I mean, there's a good possibility that happens. Um, but but uh, I mean, why would you have this match again? I don't know. Joe won in such a minute. Dis- Took a minute. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, sure, I'll go with Joe too. Why not? Yeah, no well, reason to it, take it. It's, it's just don't feel like Mysterio is gonna make any sense to win the title. Uh, Becky versus Charlotte. Um, There's a good chance she drops it to Charlotte. I know. I, I I'm gonna pick Charlotte. I don't want her to, but I'm yeah. gonna pick Charlotte. All right, you can pick Charlotte. I'll just say she retains just because the simple fact of merchandise. That's fair. Um, Kevin Owens versus Kofi Kingston for the WWE Championship. I'd like to see Kofi retain and have Kevin Owens continue his uh, excellent work and try to come up with a continuation of what they're doing. Yeah. I, I, if I'm not concerned about anything, mm. is that Co- uh, Kevin Owens can keep something fresh. That's that's the one thing that I can say. Like, I'm not afraid of them trying something with him. Yeah, that's true. I don't know what else they could really do with Owens on SmackDown. That's really standing out to me right now. Yeah. So keep him with Kofi. They'll have him face Finn Balor for the IC title. Yeah, that would be dumb. <laughs> um, but you have you have a legitimate contender for what is turning into a legitimate champion. Yeah. Um, and a good program with Kevin Owens could really elevate this title reign for Kofi Kingston. Yeah, because so. as of right now, the highs of winning the championship, granted it's been a month, um, has been the d- defined his title reign so far. But we want to look past that. We want to get it so that he's seen, seen as should, yeah, yeah as like like a big champion. I so. mean, let's be honest here. How long did they let Jinder hold the title for? A long time. Exactly. It was like eight months. There's no reason to take this title off Kofi. Yeah. There's no reason at all. Yeah. If it flopped, sure. Give Kevin Owens the belt. Yeah, it's different. But no reason for mm-hmm. it. Kofi retains. And I believe that brings us to the men's Money in the Bank match. Sure. Uh, Sami Zayn versus Ricochet versus Drew McIntyre versus Baron Corbin versus Ali versus Finn Balor versus Andrade versus Randy Orton. Um, so I picked, or we both picked SmackDown people to win, yep. um, money in the bank. We both think that Drew McIntyre should win. Um, but during, or I guess with the current climate, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to put Drew 
over because he's teaming up with Sammy and Baron, uh, allegedly or seemingly. Yeah. Um, I yeah, don't that's know what the weird part is, but then they could all have them protect it in some stupid thing. Yeah, because I, I don't really know why Alistair Black's not in this match unless he's hurt or something. I don't know what. It just does his dumb promos. Um, they got no problem with him, but the problem is, is that there's no direction. He's just speaking. Well, they're not going to do anything. That's the problem. Yeah. Um. So. Eh. You know, it'd be interesting. Hmm. Sami Zayn wins it, and Kevin Owens wins the title. That would be interesting. Yeah, because, like, I don't. There was never a point in time where Sammy and Kevin were like in a title feud. Like they fought plenty of times, but yeah, I don't think so. They, if they were on the same show, they were working together. Um, For the most part. Well, now they're not even on the same show. But I would imagine. Matter. I would imagine with this new rule, it's pretty much guaranteed. Whoever wins is probably going to cross over, at least on the men's side, just for, just kind of, I guess, to shake things up. I guess. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Why Why wouldn't Ricochet, no, I guess Ricochet is really not a credible. Yeah, there's no. It's got to be heel. Yeah, yeah, Big, yeah, yeah. big baby face champions right now. Um, yeah. Unless you set up, unless you set up like, uh. Ricochet, I guess you could set up for uh, AJ. Potentially. Yeah. Um, Maybe even Finn. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, that's the thing. Like, you have guys, you know, Ali, Andrade, and they're they're still pretty new, relatively new to the main roster. Yeah. You have former winners in Orton and Corbin. You have... Drew McIntyre again, who should win? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think they're gonna give it to Andrade. Really? Yeah, I think he's gonna hold it for a while. Yeah, that would make sense. It, it, it kind of fits his character. I mean, him and Kofi would be have a fantastic match. It's true. Yeah, that's a good point. And he's got you know Zelina by his side, which always puts the edge. And you know, it, it's it's really built for a heel. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's why Edge got the uh, title of Ultimate Opportunist. There you go. So, that's it. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, that makes sense. So you're gonna go with Andrade as well? No, I'm uh, just I'm just, I'm not disagreeing with your idea. I I want Drew to win, so I'm gonna pick Drew. All right, that's fine. But I just I feel like Drew's a bad choice because he's just stuck in that crap hole oh, yeah. of they Baron should've... Corbin on Monday they, Night Raw. They should have had uh, they should have had Braun win the universal title at um crown jewel they still never had that match right what drew and braun like no. they were building to it and yeah. then it just no, got it never thrown happened. away never and happened. they never did anything yeah. with it um and it was supposed to happen this week and it got thrown <laughs> out again yeah. um but yeah braun should have won the universal championship at crown jewel should have had a program with drew mcintyre ending with drew mcintyre winning the title mm-hmm. and they should have had roman versus drew yeah. at wrestlemania for the universal title but whatever, we whatever. got Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins, and Seth yeah. Rollins won. So Seth it's not, Rollins, and we haven't seen Brock since. Yeah. So the the end of the line wasn't necessarily bad, but it would have it would have been a lot better TV if you had Braun versus Drew, and then Drew continue on. And even if Drew lost the title to Seth, that would have worked too. Yeah, that it wouldn't have really fine. mattered. Not really. Um. So. Oh, yeah, because Roman wasn't around. I don't know why I said Roman. Now I think about it. What, he only came back WrestleMania? right before WrestleMania. Yeah. So, yeah, you could add Seth win it anyway. So the end of the line was the same. It's just how he got there. Because no one wants to see uh, Brock Lesnar around. And it's, Not really. It's yeah, a lot, the ratings were better. Yeah, it's a lot easier. That That's just semantics. <laughs> um, it's a lot easier to have, um, you know, champion or it's a lot easier to justify braun looking bad when you're building someone up but when you're having someone look stupid it's a little a little harder to justify so but yeah yeah all I, right i believe that's everything that is everything yeah. so hopefully this is good if it's not we may be taking a hiatus yeah yeah it's uh it's been rough so it, it a lot has changed, not necessarily in, I guess, the product, but mm-hmm. like our just our 
opinion. Like I know nobody's really happy with the product right now, yeah. but the, it's not like it's much worse than it was three no. years ago. I think we're our expectations. Yes, because we're we're looking into things too much. We're reading about stuff that's going on, so we're informed on things that we weren't necessarily informed about. Especially when we were only watching the pay per views or only watching NXT and getting clips of what was going on in the main roster. So it it's been it's been a journey. It has. Yeah. So it this, has. And, and when you think about it, we've been doing this for two over two years. Almost three? No, Is we it? started at WrestleMania seventeen. It was seventeen? Yeah. Okay. Cause I, I I know it's been a little while now. Yeah. So that's a it's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> When you, when you think about every it every week pretty yeah. much yeah. and on so. top of things yeah so but uh but Brings yeah out a little bit mm-hmm. so uh that was our money in the bank 2019 predictions video yes if you liked what you saw here please like share and subscribe bye bye